happy Friday. Welcome back to another weekend of my life vlog. I am about to work out. It's 8 a.m. I don't want to work out at all, but I'm going to make myself do it. My set is Outdoor Voices. It's so cute. It goes underneath one of their new dresses, too. Love. I'll link it below. All right, guys, it's 10 a.m. Um, I'm now at North Park. There's actually a Skims pop-up this weekend, and... <laughs> As we know, I peaked and I work with Skims, so I want to stop by, say hello. Also, these sunglasses, I've been living in them. I have them in black as well um, from Amazon. I have been getting great, oh my gosh, you know what? Speaking of, you can't really see, but like if you have a lot of hair and it's thick and you, those claw clamps like never hold all of your hair, like I don't know if you can even see this one. I found some on Amazon that actually hold it. Like I worked out today in this claw clamp and it didn't like mess up at all. I love my outfit today. It's so fabulous. Fab is just my new word. This weekend's gonna be so good, guys. We're going to Byron Nelson. Sab moves back. That's my best friend. We have been long distance for six years. So it's a very big day. We have Friday dinner tonight, Friday girls dinner tonight. Payton's in town going to lunch with her. It's just a really good time to be alive. You know what I mean? Also, this is like always my problem. Sorry, guys. I've been like really active on TikTok, guys. Um, like it's like my number one thing that I've been, I think I'm a TikToker now. It's like kind of embarrassing that I think that, but you know, whatever. Of course, I'm gonna make a TikTok. Also, I'm fully vaccinated and like the CDC said no more masks, but like I am, I don't know about that one, you know? I don't know. I don't want people to think a certain thing. I think that's my main thing. Like, it's not the science. It's more so like I don't want people to think like, certain things, you know? Okay, well, goodbye. Okay, here's my outfit, by the way. My cowboy boots. <laughs> I love these shoes. Like, I literally feel the most me in these cowboy boots. I, like, didn't even grow up in the country, guys. I grew up in McKinney, Texas. Like, suburbs, golf course community. Not the country. My favorite mall of all time, North Park. Very successful trip. They're here until June 11th, by the way, guys. So you can shop in person. I don't think I even showed you guys my actual outfit for today. So here we are. I have this cute, actually, this should technically be part of the haul because I just got it from Nasty Gal, but it's obviously from Nasty Gal. It's just really cute, just like button up. You can wear it as a dress. You can wear it as like an oversized like top. Put it over something. Yeah. Um, even like a swimsuit cover up, it's cute. And my favorite boots are from Miranda Lambert's line. All chocolate brown, so cute. Okay, we're gonna do a little haul. Um, I asked you guys if you'd rather see this in its own video or in a vlog, and you said vlog, thank God. I agree. We're starting off with what I got from Skims. First things first is this robe. I love it. I love it because it's cozy, but it's short, so it's not like too much. I'm just gonna wear this like pretty much every single day, especially once the closet room is set up because like I'll shower, my clothes are all the way over there, like I'll be in robes, you know what I mean? Then I got another bodysuit from Skims. This is the same brown color that I love from my favorite one that goes up. It's like a high neck um, bodysuit, but I love this one. I love the little straps, but it was super cute and I get so much wear out of my other ones. See, even if I was wearing like this outfit, I opened this up and I was wearing shorts or something, it would be cute. And then what I'm probably most excited for, I got my first pair of pajamas from Skims and I love matching pajamas. I have another pair to show you that I wore last night. I wear a matching pajama set to bed like almost every night. This is just fabulous. Also, so soft. And Carly from Skims was telling me that this is like her favorite thing that she owns from them. Um, and she like works there, so she's like knows. She like knows what she's talking about. I mean, amazing. I will be wearing this tonight. Also, look what we have here. Our besties merch, so cute. You guys can get this or the besties tote. It's a limited edition. Order it ASAP. Um, this is from our live show. Super cute. So I've been loving. The, I've been loving this Laura Mercier. Lipstick as well. This is in the shade Cor Coral Clear. Um, I really, really like it though. It's like a super pretty pink. Next up, we have Nasty Gal. I got these cute little white, like, sandals, I guess. I thought these were fun. I'm really into these for the summertime. I know they were really big last year as well. Um, but I just feel like I'll actually get a lot of wear out of them. If, it, if there's too much of a heel, I will, like, never wear it. Like, ideally, I would be one of those girls who can wear heels. But, like, I'm wearing cowboy boots and it was, like, 10 a.m. You know what I mean? Like, it's just I want to be that person and I'm working towards that. But in the meantime, also, these are just more casual and, like, daytime, whatever. I just thought they were super cute. I would wear these to Byron Nelson if I um, 
was like more put together. Oh, by the way, I'm going to buy our Nelson tomorrow. My first time going, I'm very excited. I got this set um, because I thought it was cute and I love that it was a set. So you have this little top, which these are definitely gonna be like really small. <sighs> I like wanna wear triangle tops, but it's like so difficult. Bottoms, cute. You can never get bottoms that actually cover your butt anymore. And like it, I actually really don't like it, but it is what it is. And then um, this skirt which I thought was so cute to like put over. That's really why I wanted to get this set um, because I like the skirt. All right, so this is the suit on without the skirt. Uh, okay, like I definitely have under boob. It's definitely like not the most coverage on my top, but I really do love the skirt. I don't really care for like laying out and stuff. Um, also, I would just wear the skirt with like other things. So I think it's fun. Another one of these, I picture these, honestly, even with like cowboy boots and like a cowboy hat and a cute Instagram, you know what I mean? Um, but love. This is like another one of those weird tops that are really in. All right, this is the last one. I really love the print of this. I think it's super cute. I don't like how it's super like wide on my chest. I don't know how much more I can like play around with the strings and tie that, but I like this fit. I just think it's cute. So comment below which bathing suit of yours is your favorite. And, and also if you have a larger chest, the best place to shop for swimsuits. I'll do an entire haul on it if I need to. Um, because it's kind of annoying and then I got this which honestly looking at the top like this is gonna be way too small But like the good thing about this is that I go out on my rooftop by myself all the time So it's like not that big of a deal if it's like really showy because like it's not really like I wouldn't wear it like to other places Um, and then I thought these bottoms were like really cute I just liked the top of this and the sleeves, but like I don't remember the like not being like a literal top, you know Honestly really pleasantly surprised by this top fitting I just think this suit is so cute. Like, I love the sleeves. It almost makes it look, like, a lot, like, nicer almost. And then the bottoms are just really, really cute. I love the cut. I love the fit. I actually really like this suit. I just feel comfortable in it. You know what I mean? I got these cute matching pajamas, which I, you know, always do. Cute stars. Love that. What I liked about this that I thought was, like, interesting is that the top was almost, like, cropped. Like, it's almost... I don't know, it was cute. I wore them last night, very cozy. Oh, this dress is so cute, and I live in dresses in the summer, so I was really excited about this. Um, I'll probably wear this this weekend because I just like loved it so much. And then, okay, I got this blazer, which I'm not sure how I feel about it, and like I know myself and I know I'm not gonna return it. It's like a wool blazer, and like first off, it's summer, so it is like a little bit too thick, but it makes me think I actually might like layering this with different textures. This summer, if I'm like going out to dinner and it's like colder at night or, which doesn't really happen in Texas, or if I'm like on vacation or something, I'm gonna give it a chance, but I'm not like crazy obsessed with the quality. But again, it's not like this was like pricey. By any means, there's a few blazers that I really, really want from Nasty Gal right now, but they're on, they're out of stock. So that's unfortunate. And then I have one more thing, two more things to show you from Wave Clothing. Um, I already wore two pieces they sent me last night i'll put that on the screen super cute a girl literally yelled at me outside of my car because i just gotten in it and asked me where my outfit was from so like that's how you know it's a good outfit you know um i also got these which honestly in another lifetime would be perfect to wear to byron nelson they're like kind of just like cute and like 70s i love like the flair with them i would love these with like the white sandals um and then this top I just like love this vibe. It's just like super cute. Even wearing this over like a swimsuit, I don't know. I'm into it. I got this cute dress. Again, just me and dresses in the summer. Guys, even oh, this with boots. Like, so cute. That is my haul for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. The print for the kitchen has arrived. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I wanted something that was more like this, um, that was just more calming and chill because I've had the art prints for so long and I'm just so ridiculous. Like I realize my bedroom brings me so much peace because it's very neutral and calming and just very zen. Um, so I wanted to do that down here as well. And then the thought is to have the gallery wall going here and obviously replace that light going down the stairs. And that's really fun and it adds something to it. I know that a house is like pretty boring with the neutrals right now. If you guys are not up to date, there'll be an ottoman replacing that chair. I'll eventually get like a rug. I'm gonna replace these chairs and then I think it's gonna be like a lot different, especially when I have those prints here. Hello, Coco, do you need something? Um, but then I thought about just getting a really big, like black and white photo from like Society6 in a white frame and having that here, but I don't even think they have honestly a big enough one. 
And I think at the end of the day, like this is probably what I will like the most. I got this from Great Canvas, I think. Um, and I do like it a lot. Like it's exactly what I was looking for. But I just don't know because I think I need the new chairs and I just like need new stuff in here to really decide. Um, let me know what you guys think. I just texted my mom and she's an interior designer and she's the one who told me to get that. And I think like long term, that'll probably make more sense. I've even thought about getting something in the corner. Actually, I won't do that. I don't like that. Um, but I need to have this hung. Glow screen sunscreen is my favorite. I'm wearing it on my face today. I wear it every single day. It gives you the perfect glow. It like makes me not even wear makeup because that's how good it makes my skin look. But they came out with glow screen body. So I'm going to try it for the first time. I'm expecting it to be like life changing. Okay, I got some comments from people saying that it has like sparkles in it and I actually kind of see the sparkles a little bit. Here's the difference between my two legs. I don't know if you can tell. I can definitely tell in person this leg looks so much better. I will link this below, but like I swear by this line of sunscreen. Yeah. My vote, this is in. I really like it. Alright guys, I'm going to Chelsea Corner. It's on McKinney Avenue in Uptown. My first time coming here. It's very popular too. Sunshine flowers. That looks cute. Really busy. Look who it is. Hello. <laughs> Back from lunch with Peyton. It was so good. I didn't really vlog. We talked for three hours. Peyton and I have known each other, I think, for like five years now. We randomly met and got Alfred one day. Um, we just like met on Instagram. We were both from Texas and we were like, okay, amazing. And we've been friends ever since. She's one of the coolest people. Like, if you don't follow her, She's just so interesting. She's just like so interesting. Like she always has something to say and her stories are like unreal. So like when I get um, when I get to hang out with her, I'm like, okay, please tell me everything because I, I just need to know, you know? Anyways, it is almost four now. Um, so I'm gonna get a little bit more work done and then I have dinner plans tonight. I've been, I've been in like girls dinners on Friday nights, which has been really fun. Um, my editor just sent me over a little trailer, so I'm gonna check that and then just get some work done and then I'll probably see you guys when I'm getting ready for dinner. Um, I'm really excited for this weekend because Byron Nelson's gonna be so fun and I don't know I don't know I just am really actually happy and like content and really like fulfilled with who's in my life I'm just in like a really good mood and I'm also just like really happy so it's a good time okay guys I have to give you like an honest update because upon like looking I don't know like okay <gasps> The dogs were really playing with my clothes, it seems. Maybe I'll wear this tonight. To give you an update on the sunscreen, I did get comments from people when I talked about it saying that it has like sparkles in it. And like, I don't know if you can really tell. Um, there's definitely like sparkles, which I don't personally love. Like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, it's my first time wearing it and I, I didn't like lay out, but I'm going to say, it doesn't have the like wow factor star quality for me that the face sunscreen does, but I will keep you guys posted, okay? I just took my makeup off because I'm going to get re-ready, um, and for some reason, I don't like putting makeup on as soon as I like do skincare, so I just like wash my face and I let it sit and then I do skincare, or then I do my makeup later, I don't know why, but I put on my Skims robe. This is the coziest thing I have ever worn. Like, I will actually be living this. this oh my god. Like, it is so cozy. Hi, girl. What's up? Yes, I get it. I get it. I mean, guys. Like, I'm literally dying for this. Okay, I've changed. I feel like my vlogs are basically like outfit of the week videos now. I'm wearing, again, my favorite jeans from Princess Polly. I'm gonna get even more pairs. I already have a few, but like, I'm just obsessed. Um, my Skims bodysuit that I got today, this blazer is Nasty Gal. These sneakers are 112s, normal rings and jewelry. I did my hair because it had been up in the clamp for a bit. My friends are about to pick me up and we're going to dinner. Good morning everyone, I'm currently getting ready for Byron Nelson. Making some coffee, have my cold brew. Um, my almond milk, where is that? Oh, very exciting, but if you don't know, Byron Nelson is a golf tournament and it's in Craig Ranch, which is actually in my hometown. So Sav's stepdad got us tickets and it's very exciting. I've heard from like everyone who's gone before that it's just so much fun. So I'll be vlogging on my phone today, but I'm just making some cold brew. Okay, like I barely have any left in here. I'm making this coffee right now because I really want to try out my new glass straws. Emily Pizzanato told me to buy them. 
and I trust her. Okay, let's see here. Doesn't this glass straw just look so fabulous? It really elevates the experience. You guys might be asking, Kinsey, what is in your Byron Nelson bag so far? I'll tell you. And now that I'm like such a golfer, you know, actually my mom and I are gonna start taking golf lessons, so that's fine. A clamp in one of the clamps I was telling you about. I'll show you the, the box of the other one. So I really need to be getting ready, but it's fine. Um, these are the big hair claw clamps. I'll link them below. I like them a lot more than the other ones I have because this will actually hold my hair. Like extra face sunscreen. So much liquid IV because we're gonna be outside in the heat all day. And then I'm in the middle of applying sunscreen. Even though I don't think this is my favorite sunscreen ever, I am gonna wear it today. My sunglasses, my lip products, keys, this, mask, gum, cash. Guys, like my bag is like legitimately all lip products. Like, so that is a what's in my bag video. Another outfit shot, guys. Um, but my dress is from Wave Clothing. Um, I showed you guys in my haul. I'm wearing my white Puma sneakers because I feel like these are the most, like, I don't know, golf tournament appropriate. I just picked up coffee. Well, I got matcha for me and Sav, and she ordered a venti cold brew with an extra shot of espresso. Pray for Sav, y'all. I have no idea what's going on with that girl. Sav is going to try the matcha order. Oh, I just drink it. How do you feel? You're not a monster person, so I, I don't know why. It's not bad. I mean, I wouldn't personally get it, but I wouldn't say no. Well, yeah, because you got this, which is like normally me on like a weekday, <laughs> but like. I usually get two shots of espresso, and I'm wired. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> really on like a weekend, unless I'm like not feeling my best, like I, I that's just like not what I would go for. I would go for that before a night out if I've like been out. Like tonight, I might have to grab that before because we're so we're going out tonight, right? Yeah. Okay, thank God. Um, okay, let me tell you guys about this order. I've been trying out different Starbucks orders on TikTok, and someone sent this in. It's just an iced matcha latte. I, I get oat milk with it, but they were out, no surprise here, with peppermint. It is so good. I know it sounds kind of gross, but it's very good. We have really important things to talk about for the summer, for the rooftop. I was talking okay. to Haley about this this morning. So, I could get another blow-up pool. With the fishnet? With the state of the earth. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna find that video and put that in here. That was last summer. I thought it was gonna be like a literal. I don't know what's worse, the fact that I bought a net for a adult size blow up pool, or, or the that fact that a it fishnet. a fish net. Yeah. All right, guys, we have the pool cleaner. Let's see, Seth. <laughs> this is not real. Oh wow. This is great. Thank you. You're really doing a great job. Or kind of like equal each other out. Like, yeah, somewhere okay. in there it's okay. Yeah. And then there's another thing. There's like blobs I've seen kind of, okay, not like a blob from a camp, but like I've the things where you- I actually saw something on a girl's channel the other day. It's like one like the You know what I mean? Maybe send it to you on TikTok, yeah. Yeah, and you like put water in it and like- Yeah. It. Yeah, it was like kind of colorful. Yeah, I'm sure they had different designs, but like do I do, I think I did the pool. Or that. But that's gonna be easier to clean. It'll be, I'm leaning more towards the blob. Okay, I think we're gonna have to do some shopping. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> okay, well, no one cares about my uh, rooftop thing, guys. I'm just, uh, to be clear, making this summer the best summer of everyone's life. I mean, it's like you and like 27 of my closest friends. We're literally having the best summer ever. I have so many plans. Tennis club starts next week, by the way. We've made it to Byron Nelson. So and I just have so to document bad. this. We've only been here for like 40 minutes. I don't know. The whole time. <laughs> yeah, I know. And Sav is already complaining about her wedges. Okay, if you go to Byron Nelson or like any golf tournament, like, and you wear wedges, it's, it blisters. I can walk. Like, few people can do that. Probably like Dolly Parton and Michelle Obama. And like, I just would never. You are sweating. I know. Oh my god. I'm in a long sleeve too. Yeah, this is this is the look. I told you. I literally said though. Well, Sav. Happy Sunday guys, Dom just picked us up. We're going to White Rhino for breakfast. Sav has never been. It is our new favorite coffee shop in Dallas. It is so good. It's right by Nodding Donkey. It's in Uptown. It's so good. Guys, 
this rain. Awful. Dom, have you noticed what I'm wearing? <laughs> it's me, modeling it uptown. Made fair by the uncomfortable. No, it actually feels like the Rainforest Cafe. Huh? Finally got a matcha. I added peppermint in it. It's like my new thing with matcha. It's so good. Oh my god. The best sandwich. This is my third time getting it in the past week. So I've got a breakfast sandwich. Um, this is the best thing I've ever had in my entire life. So unfortunately now it seems as though we're under tornado warning. <laughs> and in this situation, like we're definitely supposed to go downstairs. But we're also watching the Tiger Woods documentary. And Coco's so comfy. And like here's it like You can literally hear the sirens. Oh I know, I've heard them before. You should have been here, Dom's first tornado warning. Oh my god, how was it? It it was not good. We okay, obviously okay. we were fine, but it was not good I for know, her. Like, yeah. <laughs> I think we're fine. Like I, I think, think we're fine too. <laughs> <laughs> guys like it's just unfortunately like pretty like common it's very normal here I mean, if you live in texas every time there's a tornado warning do you actually take cover no it's worse in oklahoma right everything is Everything's <laughs> <laughs> no offense guys i just don't like i don't know it doesn't sound like a tornado or anything so i think we're fine those are like the legitimate sirens yeah I don't hear a tornado coming. I don't it sense like that. It sounds like a, a train. Is what I've heard. What I've been told. There was a tornado that like took out like a like streets in Preston Hollow like two years ago. I actually that is literally my like so terrifying. This is actually a really good question, guys. What sort of drills did you have to do in school? Like we had to do, we did um, fire drills, fire tornado, drills, tornado. Lockdown. Yeah, that was it. I mean, in high school, we had, like, that fake bombing. Remember? Yeah. Were you we in Spanish class freshman year during that one? No, I have a very we were, vivid memory of, like... We were in A-Push during whenever, like, the security gun was down. Yeah, I remember that. And, I just remember us doing some sort of drill freshman year of high school. I just remember that, like, someone was, like, texting me really mean things. <laughs> Wasn't sad. I ran into the person recently. And, um... <laughs> They were like, it was like so, I, I literally had never met them before. Didn't know them at all. Um, I, still to this day, I don't think I met them, technically speaking. I don't, I don't think so, no. No, and um, I just remember it was like us in our Spanish class walking, and I was like, guys, what's happening? So, anyways, comment below what drills you guys did in school growing up, because I'm sure it's it's obviously different. So, uh, yeah, okay. but they're our age, so probably... Also, these clamps, guys. It actually holds your hair, like all of it. Okay, it's officially Sunday night. We laid around. I cleaned, got work done. We're back on the couch. Yes, we did. Um, we're watching King of Staten Island. We just ordered Thai food. That is it for this weekend of my life vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. Comment below any video requests you guys have. Love you guys so much. Subscribe, and I'll see you soon. The first thing we do, we, we interpret labs using a thinner reference range. So anybody that's listening right now will know, hey, when I get my, my lab, I'm being compared to this reference range in my lab. Well, we get that reference range from a statistical bell curve average of people who go to lab.